Hi everyone, my name is Albert, also known as uh, Banshee. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of Death and Taxes. That's my favorite deck, um, and that's probably all you'll see me play on the um, on the channel. Um, it's, like I said, it's a, new, it's a pretty new channel as well, so if you really enjoy what you see me doing and the games that you play and you see value in what I do, please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, I really like to hear the feedback. I want to be able to improve my videos, hopefully uh, make them better. But let's kind of roll into the deck tech. Okay, so here we go. We have the list. Um, our, our goal is obviously we're death and taxes. We want to make sure we're taxing our opponents. Um, typical, our turn one plays that we want to focus on are Esper Sentinel, Giver of Runes, or Aether Vial. Um, currently in this meta with Prismatic Ending, I'm noticing... Most of my turn one plays get blown out, um, and it just it's kind of lucky if you get an Aether Vial down and sticking. Um, Esper Sentinel tends to just tilt people and make them very, very upset. Um, another key thing that I, I've been utilizing in my Death and Taxes lists, and I've had a lot of success um, in paper, as well as in some of my practice leagues that I've played so far, is uh, Urza's Saga. I think it really boosts the deck, and then we already play more than a few different artifacts like Cauldre Complete, we played Batter Skull. I've kind of switched that suite up to include cards like Eater of Virtue and Shadow Spear as well because they're both fetchable by both Saga and our Stoneforge Mystic. Um, and of course I want to keep those staples of our deck so um, I always have our Thalia Garden of Thraben and Flicker Wisp. Um, they're some of my favorite cards. Flicker Wisp is just an all-around um, beast. And then um, Touch the Spirit Realm is one of the newer inclusions from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. I like to keep that one in the list because it is basically like an ephemerate when you're channeling it. It can't be countered, protects your stuff, can be doubled as removal, and it can also exile your solitude till end of turn and then bring it right back to exile something else. Kind of a neat little trick when you're evoking. Um, and then what else? And then I'll go over my sideboard real quick. Um, everyone knows Fury is running around, blowing out the deck. This this deck can literally get blown out on one turn by a hard cast or evoked Fury. It eats almost everything. So Brenton Forge Tender is really that counter your Fury, counter your red spell. It's great against Burn. Um, next up we have Pithing Needle, which there's almost never a deck that um, Pithing Needle won't have a target for. I'm finding a lot of Teferi's. And um, even the Wandering Emperor coming up. Run in six. It stops that. Liliana's coming back. Um, that's great against that. Relic. Oh, one other thing. Pithing Needle. Amazing against Yogmoth combo. If you can get that down between turns one to three with your Saga, um, or even turn four, you're pretty much able to stop the deck in its tracks if they don't have an answer. Um, with our instant speed removal of Solitude, we're able to kind of stop... Um, that um, Yogmoth combo is one creature that blows up enchantments or artifacts. Um, Relic of Progenitus, there's a lot of graveyard stuff running around, Darcy decks. Yogmoth kind of is able to keep that manageable. Living End, great against Living End. Sanctifier of Envec, kind of those same reasons that the first um, three slots were. Um, great against Burn, great against um, Fury, great against Living End. Um, Yogmoth combo, great protection levels, Jund, that kind of stuff. Um, next up is Avon Mind Sensor. I love Leonin Arbiter. It's one of my favorite cards, and with it out of the format, I kind of look to Avon Mind Sensor to stop those value decks like, again, Yogmoth combo, the four color goodness piles. I just slot that in, stops them from fetching um, any Yorion list. It's really good against it. Um, then I also run Sanctum Prelate, which I think is really slept upon. Not a lot of people are playing it anymore. I personally love it. Um, it's one of those cards where against Crashing Footfalls, Yogmoth combo, um, well, not so much Yogmoth, but Crashing Footfalls, Living End, play it down, name zero, they can't cast anything. Um, I notice also Control Decks and the four-color Yorion Mythic dot de dot deck piles. Um, a lot of their commonly played cards are either in that one mana value or two mana value slot so i just put that in there take care of that um and then also um sort of light and shadow and batter skull batter skull i find great against 
um, those matchups where I need the little bit extra life gain as well as that ability to both deal damage and then keep that back because it does have Vigilance. Um, and then Sword of Light and Shadow, we have tons of white removal, um, especially with Solitude and Yawgmoth combo again. It's just one of those things that really protects against it. I find this um, that deck to be pretty beatable, but I hate it. In my local meta, I run again. I have to run and deal with about probably three or four Yawgmoth combo lists. Um, I know I got a guy who's always playing blue-white control. This kind of takes care and protects against the prismatic ending. They have to target that before they can target my creatures. It's just a great all-around card. Um, brings stuff back from my graveyard and then gains that life, which is always always a boost. Anyways, let's get on with some games. Okay, this is kind of embarrassing. So um, I actually did not properly record my um, my first round game. So I'll tell you how that went. Um, I got demolished. Um, it was against a, I think it was either, I think it was the Living End deck. Oh, I don't remember which one it was. I'm, I'm doing this after I filmed it all. I should probably go back and look at that, but I got destroyed. Um, I got destroyed by that deck. <laughs> Anyways. We're going on to game two. And here we go with game two. Okay, let's see what we got. We've got a risky one lander with two, three vials and an Urza Saga. Earn your head and mulligan that one way. That one won't do us very much. And... Great, we have a no lander. Okay, we're gonna have to mulligan again. Going down to five. We're gonna have to keep it. It's better to keep a, uh... oh look, we do have a line. Okay, so we're keeping that. Put two cards back. Let's go ghost quarter and ghost quarter. Hopefully we're not against Tron. Okay, here we go. Our opponent's going first. Oh man, we're playing against uh, Darcy deck. I was gonna say smooth brain stompy. Let's see. Okay, go ahead. Play our giver, and then pass. Fetch land from our opponent. Cracking it. What is this? A blood crypt. <laughs> is this just Jund? Uh, let's see. Let's respond. Let's, oh, I can't. Okay. I guess they're going to rip our hand apart. Okay. Getting hit by a thought seize. Hmm. Okay. There goes our stone forge. And they're going down to nine really fast. Ah, they're enabling their Darcy. Great. We'll take three. Let's see. Okay. Not what I wanted, but we'll take it. Go Shadow Spear. Might as well use what I got. And if they try and thought sees us, we might as well pitch the solitude. They're going to combat. Okay. Another fresh line from our opponents. They're going down to eight. Six. Eight. 
Death Shadow. Jund Death Shadow. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. Go ahead and play an Urza Saga. Probably our best defense against the Shadow. And we will... Huh. Go ahead and touch the uh, Spirit Realm on the Death Shadow. Okay. Passing it back to them. They're moving to combat. Sure. We'll take it. They have a four turn clock on us. And Inquisition. Have at it, opponent. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Okay. And a Goyf. Excellent. Giver's not bad. Okay. Go ahead and pass it along. Okay. We're going to inquisition us. So we're going to respond. We're going to go ahead and, and evoke solitude, exiling the giver. And we're actually going to hit the Dragon's Rage Channeler. Okay, they're wasting a card, they're almost empty handed, and we'll be taking four. Okay. They're going to combat. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and respond. We're gonna make a dude and What are the chances that their one card in hand is a bolt? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and block. That's probably our best line. I wanna try and conserve, conserve as much as we can at the moment, because we're kind of hosed. Okay. And it's back to our turn. That is not a good pickup. <laughs> Okay, we're going to respond to our Saga Sack Trigger by creating a Colorless Construct. Okay. Go ahead and grab that Eater of Virtue. Make it a 3-3. Three, three. We can take 5. And we'll pass. If I can get one more land, that would be Choice. Let's see. Darcy, take it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay. Go ahead and play Horizon Canopy as our land. Go one. Two, we're going to equip to our construct. Let's see. Make it a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, we'll play our vial. Pump it. That might have been the wrong play, but we'll do it anyways. I won't be killing the Tarmogoyf, so we'll hold off. This turn will take effectively, unless they drew a bolt, in which case, or Liliana, and we're hosed. What are our outs here? Okay. We take it all. We 
dead. If we don't kill the goyf, let's see, we can net a total of seven mana. Let's see if they have that bolt. Death Shadow, sure. I'm fine with that. Okay, let's go. Put Aether Vial's ability on the stack. I'll tell ya. That could not be better. Okay. Go ahead and pay one, equip this to our construct. Then we're gonna pay one, playing an Esper Sentinel. And I, I'm an idiot, I should have vowed that in. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and attack. Gain eight, we'll go back to ten. Will you go down to one opponent? It's probably a bad idea. I think that was a major misplay. Oh, he's blocking. Okay, I'll take that then. Okay. Yep, we'll get four. Trample over. Oh. Forgot about that. Should have given all uh, all eight to our opponent. Because now if they draw a removal spell, we just lost. Ah. Okay. Gonna pay the one? They are. So they don't draw now. They draw at the beginning of the next upkeep, which I'll take that as well. Swing in with the Dragon's Reach Channeler. Oh, going with everything. It's nine damage right there, so. We probably lost this one. We shall see. We'll take it up. Our only out right now is to draw an Esper Sentinel. Man, we just lost. Okay. Well, GG opponent. I'm trying to think. Yeah, there's nothing we got there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and concede. We'll go to game two. Death Shadow, what's good against Shadow? We got Sanctifier, bring that in as they have Unholy Heat. Sword of Light and Shadow. And Batter Skull to Race. Huh. Okay. What can we cut? Okay, they got hand hate, so we're gonna go ahead and trim our vials down to one. And then trim a giver. Trim an Esper Sentinel. And I think we'll also be trimming Cloud Still Kieran. I don't think that does us much good in this matchup. Okay, we're gonna go first. So we can actually get something out. This is going to be hand hated away, but we'll go ahead and keep it anyways. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Pay one, eater of virtue. Of course. Opponent's going to be churning as much life as they can. Thoughtseize? Yep. 
Take our stone forge. Okay. And a bobble from our opponent. Hopefully we hit some graveyard hate. This might have been a bad hand to keep. As soon as I get in front of the camera, start making all the mistakes. <laughs> and a shadow spear. Yeah, why not? Might as well cast it. Okay. Wonder how many basics our opponent has. I haven't seen them fetch for a swamp yet. Hmm. Overgrown tomb. And Tarmogoyf. Great. Okay. It's our turn. Go ahead and play a planes. And then... Hate the fact that we have so many X1s. So might as well put the Flicker Wisp. Ability on the stack would be helping them. Let the ghost quarter. Just that'll come back on our end step. And here it comes. Not surprised. And we'll take five. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Okay, take our stuff. Stupid monkey. Ah, a planes, I'll take that. <laughs> Oof. It's not looking good for us. At least we have a redraw. That is not much better. Okay. Here we go. Ah, Skyclave, which they can eat one of our things if they really want to. Uh, they might even cast it, probably eat the Eater of Virtue. Yep, or the Shadow Spear. That's my guess. Yep, Shadow Spear. There it goes. Okay. Shadow? No, end step. Okay, here we go. Great. So we're going to go ahead and crack this. Obviously, I'm doing a terrible job. And there's a saga. Don't think there's any line out of this one. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and scoop. And here we go with game three. Hopefully we'll do better on this one. Okay. This one is keepable. Our opponent's going first. Hopefully our hand does not get ripped to shreds. My gosh. If this is another John Shadow deck. I will cry. Oh, cool. Burn. I like our matchup against Burn. How long does Riftbolt have to suspend? I don't know. This makes me very happy. At least I can do good on one game. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, here we go. Okay, here we go. Turn one giver, that's pretty good. Turn two Thalia. 
Ah, uh, they're gonna hit our giver. And I'm okay with that. Oh, they're hitting our face. Sure. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> okay, I'm fine with that. Goblin Guide, excellent. Okay, this is my favorite matchup. Take stuff off the top, let's go. I am very, very excited. Take the damage, happily. Sure, hit my giver. I am happy. Okay. Saga. And Thalia. That was the perfect hand to keep. I'm not going to lie. I'm very happy for myself right now. They better hope they have a land if they get stuck on two. Okay. Here we go. Saga ticking up. Say okay to that. Go ahead and play a ghost quarter as our land. I want to keep up a ganjo. And then, let's see. It'll be a 1-1. One, one. That's fine. We're not going to attack. We're just going to start making dudes. That's going to work out. I'm very optimistic about this one. Game one didn't record the right way. Game two was a blowout. No, this will be a blowout. What did, okay. I always say, if you don't know what to do, just create the dude. Okay, what are we gonna search for? Shadow Spear is really good here, I think. I think it's Shadow Spear. Okay. So what we're grabbing. Go ahead. I don't really want to help them out with the Horizon Canopies. Okay. We're going to grab the... Put the Iganjo out. Looks like we're loading a little bit. There we go. Iganjo. Um... Okay, let's go ahead and move to combat. Okay. Opponent's blocking. Letting it go through, taking the damage. Maybe it's a Death Shadow Burn where they want to take damage too. I'm kidding. Uh, okay, first strike. End combat, post combat main. Yeah, let's go ahead and play the giver. Don't really need the solitude too much right now. I'm at a healthy life total. Honestly, I'd use solitude this game to boost my life total. Oh, sweet. And I love this sideboard even more. Let's see. Uh, Batter Skull. And let's go Burnt and Forge Tender. Three. And Sanctifier on Vec. Now burn, I think has a high density of, I have a burn list on my phone so I can look at it. Two drops, just cause I'm curious. Nah, it's pretty varied, it won't do us any good. I'm guessing they're probably gonna sideboard in a lot of path to exile related stuff. Lion Sash won't be very helpful, it's mostly non-creature spells. We have to trim six cards. Um, we'll remove the Cloud Steel Kirin. Flicker Wisps are very bad in this matchup. We'll take all three of those out. We have two more cards to trim. Um, let's trim a Vial. Uh,
Bring an empath, I know that for sure. I'll trim my giver, because giver was upgraded. And um, Esper Sentinel is going to let us churn through our stuff a little bit better. Okay. Boom. Colossal die roll, obviously. <laughs> this hand is beautiful. Okay. What you got for us? Okay. Goblin Guide. Okay, so in this case, it'll be uh, turn one. Brenton Forge Tender. Yep, we gotta take it. Hit us. I'll take the Horizon Canopy off the top. We're already drawing cards. Okay. Excellent. Man, this is. Oh my gosh, this hand keeps getting better. Yeah, we're gonna lead on the Brenton Forge Tender. I think it's a very undervalued card. I know a lot of Death and Taxes players know about it. I feel like it can be utilized in a lot of other death archetypes, especially when dealing with Fury. Especially if your board is soft. Another... Oh, a Monastery Swift Spear. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And... Oh, two of them. Okay. Let's think. Is he going to swing in with all of them? Sure. Okay. Oh, you just have to attack. Excellent. Okay, we're just going to block the uh, Goblin Guide with our Forge Tender. Sorry. Block. Common guide. And we'll take two more. That's fine. Sweet. This is getting better and better. Literally every draw we've gotten so far has gotten incredibly more useful. Okay. We're going to have to stay on the defense for a couple uh, go-arounds right now. My gosh, next turn we can Shadow Spear, Esper Sentinel, Aether Vial, okay. These Swift Spears are going to get pretty big right now. That's my guess. Cool. Actually, not really. Even better. Okay, let's see. What are we going to do? I can go ahead and take out two of these Swift Spears right now by exiling this and paying two. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go evoke, exiling Esper Sentinel, and then we're going to go ahead and place those and target Monastery Swift Spear. We will respond, exiling Touch the Spirit Realm, or discarding it. Channeling it. Let's see. Ah. We won. That one was fast nine minutes. I'll take it. Okay. Here we go with game four. Maybe we can go positive on this one. We lost our first two. Did a really good game against Burn. Let's see what we're up against. We have... Oh, we lost a die roll again. I don't think we've won a single die roll. We're doing pretty bad this league, I'm not going to lie. At least I think if we go, what, 3-2, we can kind of recoup our entry fee. Hmm. I'll take it. It's a good one. It's keepable. Okay. Hopefully we don't get hand-hated. My cousin's favorite deck. Oh, my. Yogmoth. Here we go. Yep. Yogmoth combo. Or in fact... Could be in fact. But I think it's Yogg. So that's I. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go planes. Go ahead and lead on the Aether Vial. Um, they don't have many non creature spells, so Esper Sentinel is not really that good. But Giver might be important. Yep, here it goes. I hate playing against this deck. Got like three people running Yawgmoth in my metagame, in uh, my LGS. So, I don't like it. <laughs> One of the guys I actually call my, my nemesis because he always has a bad attitude when we play. Uh, let's see. 
think I want to save Solitude for when the big boy comes out. Um, it's probably your best bet. Go ahead and take this up. Okay. Say yes. It's not what we want to see. It's not what we want to see. Okay. Let's go ahead and toss out our Esper Sentinel. Maybe we can start blocking some stuff. We'll churn out our giver on our opponent's end step to make sure that it stays safe. We want it to be able to kind of protect our uh, Esper Sentinel. Okay, here we go. Uh, Eldridge Evolution. Okay. Are they paying the one? Yes, they are. Okay. Strangle Root comes back. Okay. Good thing I kept Giver in my hand, I guess. We're going to want to eat that Yawgmoth as soon as it comes down. Yep. Here we go. They're starting to sack stuff. They're going to start killing our board. Yep. My favorite. They can keep their hand pretty full. It's kind of frustrating. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and... Let's do this now. I, I don't know. Target Yogg. They'll start doing their stupid little sacky thing. Um, Young Wolf has a counter. He might go back and forth, but now I think is the best time. They both have 1-1 one, one counters on him. Unless this is a minus 1, minus 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1. And 1 plus 1 plus 1. Okay. I'm fine with this. Okay. Strangle root goes away. Okay. I'm okay with them losing life. There it goes. Coming back and forth. And we're pretty much fresh out of luck unless we draw something nice. Um, probably our best pickup would be a... I don't know. Skyclave. Because we want to be able to handle. Okay, that's fine. You still get exiled. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. Paper's so much faster, it's kind of funny. We're going to have to deal with any of that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take this bad boy up. I think. Now I kind of regret pitching the, uh, hmm. let's go ahead and I'm gonna thin our deck out a little bit. Go ahead and play the other vial. There's nothing really else to do. And then, we'll leave the mana up actually. And then uh, end step maybe. We might this might be useful. I don't know. Wall of roots. Okay. Okay. Yep. Strangle root guys. Sure. Urborg. Okay. End step. Let's go ahead and. Sacrifice Ghost Quarter, destroying our flagstones. We'll use flagstones ability. Kind of fixes our mana a little bit better. Um, let's see what we got. We are going to go ahead and tick this one up to three. Hmm. The 
Let's see. Oh, I'm an idiot. I clicked the button. God. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's fine. So redraw. Um. Oh, let's just go add one white. Sack the horizon canopy to draw. Uh, Cloud Silk Kieran. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, we'll keep that in the in our uh, Pokeball. Okay. Boseju. We'll put a creature down. They don't want any surprises. They probably think it's something spicy, but it's not. And I will gladly take. Okay. Yes. Gladly take another basic. Um, that kind of enables our Touch the Spirit Realm to hit Yagmoth. Okay. Okay. Comes back. Something two more that is the Ogmoth, um, which if they have the mana to pay for a whatever that thing's called, Blood Artist, we're dead. Um, which they do have the mana standing for it. We're pretty much toast if that happens, because they can just keep rearranging all their stupid tokens, um, and they can pretty much dig till they hit it. And then they can respond to pretty much whatever. Court of Calling for two. Let's see. Blood Artist. Yep, we're still going infinite. And then there's, um, I'm going to begin sideboarding. Let's see. Um, we have a lot for this as well. Needle, Relic, um, or Sanctifiers. And I like to bring these in. Typically get hit pretty easily. But they do stop a lot of shenanigans. Um, Esper Sentinels don't do much. Thalia, unfortunately, doesn't do much. We'll trim a vial. We'll trim the Cloud Silk Kirin. I don't need all three of the Aven Mind Sensors and then watch me regret it. Um, trim a Giver. Esper Sentinel. Oh, that's our trim one too many. You know what? I'm a, I am going to put a Thalia back in. We have a lot of one drops. Okay. We're going first. Uh, that's not keepable. That is, though. Turn one relic. Okay. I actually put the Horizon Canopy back. I don't want to get pinged too much by myself. Okay, we're gonna keep it. Put the canopy on the bottom. Okay, I'm actually gonna lead on Vile. I think it's pretty important that we have that out there. Um, and they, they don't do very much that first turn. They usually play a dork. Oh, Undying Wolf, or Young Wolf, whatever the heck the thing is called. Um, and then. Okay, say yes. Beautiful. 
I like vile. And even better, I like relic standing like that. It's very nice. Got a lot of removal. Let's see, sacrifice. Oh yeah, it's the stupid one where they have to pay one. Which is fine. Okay. Now day and night actually matter. We're going to want to cast a spell. They don't have anything in their yard, so nothing for us to do. Hopefully we draw a land. I think it might be a good idea. That works. Um, we really want to keep them dealing with this, basically. And then if we can keep the vial around. Okay, Grist. Sure. Target creature. Or Planeswalker. That's fine. Okay. We're going to activate this ability. Thank you. Eat it. That's fine. I am happy that they don't have any mana left. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, even better. I'm going to go ahead and eat the uh, Outland Liberator. I th sometimes I think... Keeping the... Liberator dealt with is pretty important. Um, or not the Liberator, but just any one of their toolboxy creatures. Um, and now we basically just want to keep the vial up so that at any moment we can. Um, so they're going to create some insects, but at any moment we can really take Yogmoth as soon as it hits the battlefield. Which here comes the young wolf, and let's see what happens. End step. We're going to activate this. Okay. We're going to ask to always know for Aether Vial because we're in a good spot. We need to land right now. And another vial. Um, hmm. Right now I'm thinking our best bet. Our best bet is we're going to go ahead and swing in, I think. I think. Um, we're going to swing on Grist because we don't want him sacking a creature. We want him to chump with the young wolf because that's a bad idea. Oh, he's going to double block. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm fine that way. Cord for one. Okay. Young wolf. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, the young wolf will come back, that's fine, and they'll create a little critter, oops, which I just misclicked, that's fine, I guess we won't play our other vial, because we want to be able to Exile stuff when Yogmoth comes down. Because I'm guessing they got two cards in hand. That's coming pretty soon. Sure.
Give me three. That's fine. We'll create an insect. Go for it. Here comes Yogmoth. Sure. Um, end step. Let's go ahead and activate Vile. Yes, Skyclave. Targeting Yogmoth. Okay. That's one counter. Okay. Take one. He's going to keep drawing. Uh, let's see. Okay. Sure. Okay. Killing me. But then you don't get a token. Which I'm also fine with. We're going to go ahead and we already know that stain on three. I think we're in a good position. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, yep. We're in a good position. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play our Sanctifier and Vec. That'll hit a good portion of the graveyard. I don't know. And then whatever happens, Flicker Wisp away. If they want to sacrifice this to make us... Uh, let's see. Okay, sure, gain your life. It basically makes Yogmoth net zero, or lose zero when they're minusing whatever crap they got. Um, Yogmoth can't target our Sanctifier, which is healthy for us right now. Um, Strangle Root Geist, sure. Um, and they can't cord right now. What can they do? Sacrifice a creature, destroy target creature that can dis Oh. Even better, it's like a worse Liliana, um, where we wouldn't have to sacrifice. And a young wolf coming down. Let's think. I can activate Vile. Okay, let's just see what happens. Become a main phase. Grist is creating a 1 1. This is a frustrating game, I'm not gonna lie. They're going to go to combat. Sure. End step. Let's go ahead and activate Aether Vial. Yes. We're going to put Skyclave in. I'm just going to go ahead and start eating their threats. Um, yeah, whatever. Or their uh, undying stuff so that they don't really have anything to keep hitting me with because it's kind of frustrating. Um, end step. Okay. Aether Vile's ability. Like I said, I need to land here or something amazing. There's a Ghost Quarter. I'll take that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and activate our Vile. Or not our Vile. We're just going to cast Flicker Wisp, actually. Let's do this. And we'll put this on the stack, targeting our Skyclave. And we'll go click OK. Okay. Get your 2 2 creature. I'm going to start munching your stuff though. Okay. And he's going to gain life for that. Um, it's fine. Okay. Here we go. This comes back. Let's eat the.
I don't know which one would be better. The young wolf with a counter. We just basically don't want him to have two undying creatures on the on the field. Because um, that's a pain in the neck. He pretty much, if he can cast Yogg, he has to close it out right now because I'll end up viling in the Flicker Wisp. There's a uh, Dryad Arbor. Okay. It's probably going to be able to cord right now. One black. Eldridge Evolution. Okay. As an additional cost, sack. Okay. Sack the Wall of Roots. Okay, Yogmoth is coming in. Okay. Undying, how can we hit that? I guess we just let that happen for now. He's gonna get him he's gonna net zero, right? Okay, he's killing our wisp. Okay. Let's activate flicker wisp. He's targeting the young wolf. If I, I don't know. I don't know what to do, honestly. If I fl flash that out, maybe it won't come back. Maybe that was a bad line. Just don't know what I'm doing, to be completely honest. Um, that did nothing. Okay. Yep, they're gonna turn through all of our, my, all of my uh, stuff. I thought I had something there. Should have held on to this, the Skyclave with Yogmoth. Um, he is eating through a creature each time he does this, so he does have to pay a cost for that. Um, and I'm down on time, unfortunately. Yep. Sure. He's basically trying to draw, I guess, the perfect card. I don't know. Whatever he needs. Probably trying to grab a... Let me think. He wiped my board. Pretty good. Okay. Okay. Each opponent loses life equal. Mm. Okay. Not too potent. We got a green. If there's a black. Okay. Ignoble Hierarch. That's fine. That's fine. We might lose right now. Hate this deck. But. It is what it is. It's all I can do. Okay. Keep that there. And another Aether Vial. Okay. Have some options. We're just going to pass it. I don't know what I can do in this point. Okay, we're not going to declare any attackers. We're going to pretend like we have something that we don't. Um, our opponent basically plays a Blood Artist here, and we lose. Anything that they have, we lose. So, Strangle Root Geist, that's it. Um, and then Blood Artist, and that's game. So I'm not going to waste my time. Here it goes. I now wish I had Rest in Peace. That would hose this deck. I'm only hosing half of it. So it looks like he doesn't have any black creatures. Yep. Okay. Undying. Just enough mana for Blood Artist. <laughs> I 
and a little scoop. I just wanted to psych him out. Okay. I guess that's it. Here we go with game number five. It's been a rough league so far. Hopefully we can squeeze out a win. Luckily, uh, we have a pretty keepable hand. So we'll go ahead and go with it. I think every time this league we have gone second. Okay. Lanawar Elves from our opponent. Haven't seen that before. Maybe this is an Elves list. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to lead on planes into give our runes um, typically with a heavy creature list that we're when we're going against the heavy creature list so I like to stay away from leading with Esper Sentinel uh, Cavern of Souls Elf this is an elf deck okay here we go Great. I hate this. <laughs> do they pay one life when they do this? Why are they at 19? Oh, they fetched. Okay. I'm an idiot. Let's go. Here we go. Go ahead and play another Urza Saga as our land. And then we're going to go ahead and also cast a Thalia Garden of Thraben. Um, I really don't know what to do against elves. I, I was literally sitting here thinking... Um, Elves are the worst to play against. Uh, I've played against them in Historic a lot because it's a pretty popular deck. In Modern, I just didn't quite expect it. Uh, this would be a great time for a Ghost Quarter. Okay. If you control another Elf creature, you create a 1-1. One, one. Cool. Their, their board's just going to get super wide, super big, and super fast. Um, which, our, our best bet right now is to kind of crank out our creatures... Um, utilize Urza Saga. As far as like Pithing Needle to goes, or fetching with Urza Saga, I don't really know what to grab. I think maybe our best bet is, uh, oh. and there's the Elvish War Master. I hate playing against this deck. It's like historic all over again. At least I have a little bit better removal, but, but oh, this is pretty hopeless. Our best bet right now would be to pick up a... Oh, here comes Izuri. Okay. This might be another fast one. This might be a very, very abysmal league. Okay. Um, go ahead and play Planes. We're going to get smashed pretty soon. I'm going to go ahead and... Typically, I wouldn't recommend doing this. I'm going to skip the... Oh, man. I don't know what to do here. I'm going to skip the Urza Saga for now. Um, okay, that's going to kill us almost immediately. Um, they need five mana for it, which they pretty much have. We're going to go ahead and cast this by exiling Giver of Runes. We're going to target that Azuri Renegade Leader because that's going to be a really potent threat that we will have to deal with later. Um, this is, our, this is our best bet right now. There, there's empty handed. Uh, we can maybe protect our Esper Sentinel a little bit. Next turn, we're going to want to hit that Urza Saga and create a dude. Okay. They drew a land. They're fetching. Uh, this adds a lot of mana. This is a pretty dangerous place we're in right now. Okay. They're drawing another card. They don't play anything, that means it's another land. Otherwise, they can tap for near infinite mana in modern. It's, what is that? Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, if you count that. Um, there's no hope on this one, but we'll keep we'll keep playing and see how this one goes. Um, Iganjo can be pitched to kill something. I kind I kind of hope that they uh, swing with something. Oh, they're, they're going with everything. Okay, so this just creates... What does this thing do? Uh, what gives them plus one? It's this thing. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to pitch this targeting this Elvish guy. 
And then I think we want to try and take out as much as we can. Okay. I'm still going to kill it. I might have, that might have lost me. That's. Oh, yeah. I'm getting swung at by a bunch of 4-4s. Four He's still going to take 5. And they have Death Touch as well. That's wonderful. Okay. So our line here. What is our line here? We got... What is that? 5. Okay. We can at least keep our Thalia alive. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to block Thalia here. We're going to... Block with Esper Sentinel here. Is that one, two, three, four? And we're gonna have our giver block here. The other five. We're gonna click OK. We're gonna respond. Giving this protection from green. At least protecting one of our creatures while we're blocking, because we're going to lose everything else, and we're going to go down to, uh, what is that? Four life, yeah. Should have protected the, uh, what's it called? Desper Sentinel, that probably would have been better. Because now I'm at four life, and I don't have a board wipe. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and concede here. Again, no point in wasting time on a match that I can't win. Uh, let's begin sideboarding. That I was hope hopeless. Uh, let's see. So, my opinion on this one, we're going to have to bring in the Batter Skull. And I really don't know what to cut here. Uh, an Aether Vial, maybe? I'm, I'm just bringing in an extra threat. They won't be fetching, and Sanctum Prelate isn't going to do very good. Our, our setup's kind of geared towards a... Uh, What's it called? Like a spell-based deck. Uh, turn three, we have a removal spell, but that got out of hand really fast. Uh, it will keep it. Turn two, we can equip the Esper Sentinel. So we'll go turn one, Esper Sentinel. Um, I think this match, our best draw would have been a Solitude with Touch the Spirit Realm and then another white card to kind of take out those first couple threats because they can really go far off of one land, two land. They add mana so quickly, and there's nothing we can do about it. Um, so that's my opinion on that. Uh, Horizon Canopy, I guess, will help with the redraw later. Um, I kind of want to just go ahead and start conserving our life total. I'm going to cast both the Giver and the Eater of Virtue, and then Skyclave next turn is going to be able to eat their first kind of threat, if you will. Um, other than that, I don't think there's much much hope, but we'll try. Of course, their Cavernous Souls, protecting their Elves. They have a three-mana creature, or... Another one mana thing. I don't. I don't really know. Quarion Ranger. Untap target creature. Activate only once. Okay. If you control another elf, you get another elf warrior. Cool. Yep, that's wonderful. So they got a big board already. I guess our our best bet is to kind of outvalue them. Maybe we draw. Oh, Stoneforge, that's not a bad pickup. Uh, if we can get Batter Skull out, maybe that would be the best. Cauldra is a great card to have. It just doesn't do enough. Um, we're going to use its ability. They don't seem to have much removal. And Batter Skull is great because it can stay on both attack and block, which I think is pretty potent. And then Eater Virtue, let's go ahead and equip that to the Esper Sentinel. And because Wine... Oh, man. I'm tempted to swing with the Esper Sentinel right now. But I think I should protect the Stoneforge. I just don't think they have very much... Um, nope. We'll declare... We'll just swing with it. Why not? Um, and then we're going to go ahead and give this pro green because I don't really care. 
Maybe just kind of swinging in a bunch is going to help us. Next turn, I would like to be able to drop that batter skull out. But unfortunately, I think we're going to have to eat whatever our opponent plays. Um, and, and that's a great card right there. You can just start activating immediately. There, there's those three elves. Okay. They're basically, like I said, making their board huge. It's kind of frustrating. Um, nothing that I feel like we need to eat yet. Oh, they're adding more mana. Free Zuri. So that is something we need to eat. So next turn, that's what we're going to be doing. I don't know what this next card is. Shaman of the Pack. Target opponent. Loses. Oh, that, that's like... That's brutal. Was that 10? 9? Okay. And then we're going to go to our turn. We're going to eat that Azuri. They're empty-handed. That's our best bet right now. Um, oh, and we have a Solitude. So... I'm going to go ahead and activate Stoneforge. Putting this Batter Skull into play. Okay. And then I'm also tempted. I'm also going to activate this and draw a card. Because it's not going to hurt me by... That, that's a great pickup. Um, and then, let's see. They're empty-handed. Let's go ahead and evoke this right now. Before they can activate the ability. Because that ability is nasty. We're targeting Izuri. Okay. Excellent. Now our, our big goal is basically protect our board. Um, they don't have any way to draw cards at the moment. Oh, and they drew a land. That's that's perfect. Which they're probably going to crack this as well to draw an extra card. Our our fingers are crossed that they draw another land. Because we can't really withstand a, a blow that big. Um, okay. Oh, cool. Take it. Solitude. That's amazing. It's an amazing pickup right there. Okay. Um, I don't want to really give them a chance to... Man. Man, this is just giving them a an op a chance or an option to to kind of dig their way out of this match. I'm I'm trying to decide. Maybe I should swing with the Phyrexian Germ. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Clear attackers. They can block it if they block it with multiple things. Um, declare blocker step. Let's see. They're just gonna take that. That's beautiful. It, it helps to wait, I guess. We, we just gained a bunch of life. Um, they drew a card. Cavern of Souls. That's probably what they drew last turn. Um, they're going to combat. Okay, they're swinging in with everything. Which is understandable. Okay, we're going to go to blocks. Let's see, what are the potent things right here? Okay, we're going to go to blocks. Let's see. I want to block the big stuff and be able to kill it as well. Let's see how much damage is this. They, they kind of want to, um, I don't know. Okay, we're going to go ahead and block this thing for sure. Untap target creature, activate this ability only once each turn. Um, Stoneforge has a booty on her. We're going to block this. We will have this block this and our s percent will block over here yep 
whoops, no, sorry. And then click OK. OK, we're going to activate this, targeting this, or we're going to give it pro green. OK. I guess we won that match. I have no idea how that just happened. Um, I'm, I'm quite surprised, honestly. <laughs> that makes me really happy. Okay, I guess we just have to run it back how it is. Because we don't have much uh, option. Now, this is an interesting hand. Um, I like it. But ultimately, I, I don't know if we have anything that will be able to keep us alive. We need a some type of removal. I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan. Maybe that's greedy of me. Now, see, I think I like this stone forge setup a little bit better. We're gonna put a ghost quarter back. Oh, keep. Sorry. This is better, I think. Um, we don't have turn one play, but we do have a turn two, turn three. Um, That'll give us the, that opportunity to really, I don't know, nail our opponent. Okay. Upkeep. They're fetching and shocking for a heritage shrewd. Cool. Turn one play. Solitude, that's great. I'm, I'm more than happy to, to grab that. Okay. Okay, they're, they're doing themselves some damage here. Cool. And they'll create another token. They're probably going to swing on us for one maybe. Uh, maybe not. Or they can tap all three to expend their last card in their hand, and then they're top decking. Um, doesn't untap during your untap step. Whenever you cast a green spell, you may untap. Okay, it's probably some type of combo thingy. I hate it. <laughs> Aether Vial, um, we're going to have to pass on you. You're a great combo with that Flicker Wisp, but we're going to go ahead and cast our Stoneforge Mystic. Okay, we're going to grab... Batter Skull, because that's something that's going to really kind of keep us alive. Um, gaining us life every turn and being able to both attack and block. The Vigilance is a key part of that card. I'm surprised that we made it to game three out of this match. Um, they got one card in hand. They don't have any way to pump it. Uh, okay. Okay. We're going to block one of these little creatures, I guess. Probably best to attack the Heritage Druid. If they have some type of trick, I'm going to cry. Okay. Cool. I survived it. I'll take it. Okay. That's fine. That's not really useful to them um, in any way that I can tell, except for that they kind of gave their creature pseudo-vigilance. Okay. Oh, that's even more perfect. Oh, crap, I clicked the wrong one. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, we're going to play our Esper Sentinel. We're going to click OK. We're not going to attack. We're going to hold off on casting our... Um, or activating our Stoneforge Mystic until they go to blocks or to, to attack. Once they declare, or, yeah, once they declare attackers. Okay, what are they casting? Oh man, I hate that card. Yep, free combat main phase. Okay, 
it's in their end step. Let's go ahead and activate our Stoneforge Mystic. I think we got by easy on that one. They expended their whole hand. Um, kind of unfortunate for them. Okay, this is amazing. We have removal, we have lands to play. I'm loving it. Um, they don't have anything. We can gain our life back. We have a way to stop whatever they've got going on. And we can just start eating up their stuff. Um, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking about swinging in with this Phyrexian germ. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to attack with this. Oh, wait. I don't want to do that. Okay, we're not going to do that. Um, in our second main, we're going to activate our Flicker Wisp. And I'm going to target my Stone Forge. I think that's a good line. Um, because then it'll come back. We can pick up our Cauldra Complete. Um, and we still have our access to removal. And then we have a pretty beefy board. End step, it comes back. Um, okay, we're going to use Stoneforge Mystic's ability, and yeah, we'll grab Cauldra Complete. I think that's our line. That's our line here. Flicker Wisp can start swinging in in the sky. Um, and I do have that, that option for Solitude. I don't think our opponent has anything potent. I'm surprised how, how well we've been able to kind of handle this matchup. They're moving to combat. I don't know if they have any instant speed spells. Oh, they're going... Straight to end step. That's cool. Fine by me. Okay. I'm going to activate this in order to make ourselves a cauldron complete. Um, I think this is kind of like a combo piece right here. But I want to keep solitude up. Okay, I'm going to swing in with the Phyrexian germ here. And huh, no, I'm kind of at a loss because I can't decide. I just don't want to get walloped, so I'm just gonna swing with my germ. My opponent just takes their damage. We have no way to counter. That's ah, fine. I think we're good. I don't think they have any mana. Us kind of eating up that three drop really is buffering our deck right now. Um, the only thing that's going to take a while, and there's our Cavern of Souls, is us not drawing what we need. Let's see, they have four mana. Okay, what are they going to do? Nothing. Okay, fine. Go to my turn, I'll take it. More planes to play more stuff. We're going to go ahead and... Wait a sec. We're just going to play our Aether Vial here. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We have five mana, so when we do need to cast our Solitude, we have that option. So we're going to go to pre-combat main phase, or to our main phase, excuse me. Our combat was five plus four, which they have to block. They'd have to block with either those two creatures in order to kill our germ. Let's go for it. And a flicker wisp will swing in the air. So that equals lethal right there. Okay. We're going to block like that. I'm going to actually... Click like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cast our Solitude. I, I really do want to save our Batter Skull. 
because that is ultimately what's going to be able to block. Are they playing? They're playing a Force of Vigor. <laughs> okay. What are they targeting? Oh man, that is just amazing. Okay. Targeting our Batter Skull, that's fine. And our Cauldra, which makes me laugh because it doesn't do anything. So the. Oh, we won. I'll take it. That was a horrible league. We did so bad. Um, but I'm glad we finally got there. Um, all in all, I'd say this deck is pretty good and very consistent. But a couple bad matchups. Probably a few misplays on uh, my end. Kind of Kind of brought our downfall on that one. Let me just pull the deck list up real fast. I call this one Saga and Taxes. Let's see. It's funny. Glutter. My opponent scooped up. I've never played against else. So, yeah. Um, all in all, let's make this big. Our deck did pretty good. It was pretty successful. Um, there, there's nothing really I'd change about it. I'm probably going to keep running this list. Maybe change it up here and there as the new cards continue to come out. I didn't see anything from Streets of New Capenna that I really loved for this deck. But um, it's pretty solid, and I'm going to keep running it. Anyways, thank you for joining me for this video. I hope you guys have a, a great rest of your day. Um, again, my name is Albert, also now known as Banshee. And um, please like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Again, this is a pretty new channel. I'm just trying to grow. And hopefully my video quality will get better and better. And I won't miss like the first round like I did this time. Anyways, bye.